not or shake reviews. Willie not or Willie shake. Yeah. Hello, Johnny here with Jim Bobby. Welcome to another thing of not or shake reviews. Not if it's good. Shake if it's not so good. <laughs> Either way, you should check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. Maybe. Alrighty, on to the review. Monkey, Monkey Man! Man! Do you remember that? No. Oh, that's from a cartoon. Hey Arnold. Do you remember that show? Hey Arnold. I do. Football head? The, yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. I don't I don't remember exactly the details, but there was someone who I don't remember that. who proclaimed himself as Monkey Man. That's how he said it. He was like Monkey Man. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, I'm remember sure Ed, I'm gonna Ed be the a thousandth asshole who does that joke, but I'm gonna do it. Yo, remember Ed Ed and Eddie? That was Cartoon Network, bro. Get your shit right. I know, but that was so. no, that was a that was a weird. That was a weird, we had weird cartoons back then, but cat, I guess we had even weirder uh, cat dog live action shows too. Alrighty, yeah. So Monkey Man, uh, I so I give it a I give it a nod. I will say I think maybe the first half hour I was almost asleep. And then, like, the action, like, really kind of kicked up. And I think some of the, the cinematography and some of the choreography was outstanding. I I think, and I'm, I'm going to say it, I'm not a huge kung fu person. Not that I have anything against it. I just haven't seen, like, a million kung fu movies. I've seen a few. I don't think Shaky Cam should be in kung fu movies. I think that okay. No, just not that part, but the fact that you haven't seen Kung Fu movies. No, I think I think one of the ones that really I remember seeing it's Bruce Lee with John Saxon. I think it's Fists of Fury. That's I a, think it's I it's been a while since I've seen I actually have a Bruce Lee collection waiting for me to watch at home. Yeah, Fists of Fury, man. Uh but let's be honest, Jackie Chan's early work. Oh yeah, Jackie Chan. But the I, 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 No 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 no. The early Jackie Chan. Hong yeah, the, Kong, but I'm like talk Chan. when I say like kung fu, Drunken I mean Master. like seventies, like Bruce Lee kung fu, like Jackie Chan. I'm I'm pretty familiar with this. Like work. Drunken Drunken Master is. But there were some things that they did with the camera. Like there was this one part where it was like third person and then first person, and that was pretty neat. It was so well done because yeah. it switched back and forth. It was very quickly, too. Very quick. Yeah. I have a weird thing. Like, I, I'm, I'm slowly, like, understanding it. I'm kind of like, uh, actors think they can do everything. They think they can direct. They think they can do this. They think that they, do, they can do that. Uh, Clint De Eastwood Dev, is the only one that could do that. Dev Patel, I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong, he's got the chops. I think this was very well directed, very... A lot of the colors were cool. A lot of the shots were cool. The acting was good. He was good. I got some major, again, only seen a few, major uh, early 70s kung fu vibes. Uh, you can tell that he definitely has appreciation for the genre. I think it shows in this movie. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. Again, there, there was a few parts I was like, Ugh. but the action I thought was splendid. I went from the movie theater seat to here going back and forth whether yeah. I was going to give it a nod or a shake. So for me, it's that close. I'm shaking it. And oh, I thought I'm you gave it a nod. No. Oh. No. Oh. Uh, well, that's how much I'm changing my mind. So if I did, when you said the movie, give it a little nod, I've already changed my mind. So like, I'm probably going to rewatch this film and really decide... But like you, the first half hour took a long time for it to pick up because it didn't really get into like story mode until the half hour mark. Like you were you were very in the dark for the first half hour. You did not know this person you were watching and it took a very long time for you to start understanding his motivations. Uh, I will say Dev Patel is an amazing actor. He flawlessly does wonderful work both I don't know how much of the choreography he did. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And since he directed it as well, that's even more impressive because there were things that he tried to blend together in different genres to give you something a little different um, of, a, of an action movie. And, if, and on top of that, a revenge story. I will say is this. It's, it's just a couple of years too late. John Wick has already done essentially every fight scene in this movie. 
And if it wasn't done by the by John Wick just recently, then it was done by the transporter before that. It, it's just it's too soon after John Wick Four. John Wick Four was just an explosive masterpiece. This it had John Wick fighting styles and 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 like shot shot like sequences, like how it was shot. But then it also added in, and this is where I I applaud the ingenuity and and the wherewithal to do it because it's not easy. It's not just shaky cam. He also uses uh like off focus techniques where a person will be on the mark and then when he gets hit and he gets pushed out of the like foreground uh and into the background he he maintains focus while this dude is slipping in and out of focus. Very cool shots like that. Out of focus stuff. I applaud stuff like that. That's that stuff that you haven't seen before, just like the first person. I just think the fight scenes uh, were not as... It didn't separate itself from the genre of John Wick. I, I, I thought it did, but I do see what you're saying. Think Overall, of, revenge films are very hard to do because it's like, what can you do that hasn't been done? I, it's like the I, good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> I slightly agree, but revenge is a very easy motivation for people to get along with. And I think it it could be much more simplified. Uh, wow, simplified. <laughs> so the, the uh, yep. uh, no, it could be much more simplified into the good, the bad, the ugly motivations. Like you did me wrong, I'm coming back, and it's gonna take you know put me ten feet in the ground in order to stop me. And even then, that may not stop me. Uh, and that's what this movie could have been. And there were so many marks. Where this, again, like story-wise, I don't know if Dev had any, Dev Patel had any writing in the movie. Missed opportunity after missed opportunity when you talking about revenge flicks. And Johnny I pointed at him out, and both of us were like, yeah, absolutely. That would have made the movie top tier rather than just another movie that's going to kind of slip into the foreground. And again, we were talking about the movie before it, The Guest is an awesome movie. It's not a revenge flick, but like on the action side, it is an amazing film because it tries those things differently. But also, it's also just a basic film with basic story parts. Like, that's all you need. You don't need to to cram in all of this stuff. Like, there was a lot of distractions midway through the movie that kind of, I think, took away from the character. That's why I'm going back and forth. It has nothing to do other than those decisions. This thing I will say uh, is the Monkey Man mask, whoever created the, the the practical effects for the Monkey Man mask, amazing. When we first started this movie, I thought we were actually going to watch a movie about a dude who was a monkey dude and, and that he was a fighter. Like, it was so cool looking. And the, the fact that it was unused... At the right times of this movie was really what killed it for me. There's a, he puts it on at the end. And you're like, yes, it's Monkey Man. He's here and he's fucking going to fuck shit up. Sorry for cursing. But yeah. And then he takes it off. Why? One final thing is, is when you have a, a revenge movie and the villain being killed off isn't satisfying. It's kind of like all that was for nothing. Yeah. You got it. It's got to be satisfying. It's got to, the juice the has got to be worth the squeeze. Ugh. This was kind of just like, oh, he's dead. Yeah, Good no, the last, him. especially since the last guy, you didn't even know was a bad guy yeah, until midway yeah, through. And yeah. then you're like, oh, so the bad guy that we thought was the bad guy isn't the bad guy. So now this guy's the bad guy. Yeah. So now this guy is just adding people to his list for no reason at all. Like, I mean, there were reasons, but yeah, it wasn't satisfying. You didn't get the Hans Gruber moment. Yeah. You didn't get the yippee ki you know? Yeah. That's what you need in these flicks. All right. <laughs> Thanks for cringing. I That's why Charles Bronson, he's one of the best revenge movie guys ever. Because he knew how to do it. Thanks for cringing.